All right. Hey, P, um, I'm going to show you guys how to edit another picture. And this time I'm going to use a different website. It's kind of the same thing as like Photoshop and Photopea. This one might, you might like it a little better. I don't know. Um, it's called pixlr.com. So P-I-X-L-R.com. Okay. And what we do is we use the um, advanced photo editor right there. And you just open an image. Okay. And... Where's the image that I wanted? <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Uh, I believe this is the one. Okay, and this is just from a past um, student. So what we're going to do is we're going to go full HD. All right, and right off the bat, um, it's turned the wrong way. So when we're going to go, I'm going to go image, canvas rotation, and let's try rotating it left. Perfect. Done. Okay. Um, now let's start with cropping. Please notice that the student took a picture. They didn't do the best job at it ever. Um, we need better um, photos uh, that the edges of your papers and your canvases line up with the edges of the photos. But for the sake of just showing you how to do this on Pixlr, I'm just going to use this picture. All right. So I'm going to get as close to these edges as I can without really cutting anything off. I can't do much on that side, but I can go from top to bottom and cut that off. Got it. All right. Um, so we're already getting closer. We're doing well. And let's um, pull these corners out so that the canvas fills up the entire frame. So we're going to go to edit. And I haven't done this in a while, so I think we're going to go to free transform. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. Okay, so that was the wrong one. We're going to go, ah, do you want to apply the free transform? No, okay, I got the wrong one. Edit, free distort. Here we go. And that's going to allow us to pull out the corners. And that actually is kind of um, correcting the little mistake this girl made when she took her picture. And I think that looks a little more true to life see all right but start out with a good picture and then you won't have to worry about distorting it too much later on all right so that was free that was edit ah, do you want to apply the distort yes there you go okay i also could have just pressed enter and would have been fine all right um now let's deal with the color issue so adjustment this is just like um, photoshop it is just like um photopia I'm going to go to Adjustment Curves, and I'm just going to create a very slight S-curve just to... Um, I always lose a little bit of contrast when we take our pictures, so I'm going to create a little anchor point up here. Come on. There we go. Okay, double-click, creates an anchor point, pull it up. Okay, double-click down here, creates an anchor point, and you pull it down. And then... Okay, that's how it was before. That's how it is now. We got some of our contrast back, maybe slightly too contrasted. You want it to be as true to life as possible. Okay, um, so we're doing really minimal adjustments. There we go, apply. All right, and then let's figure out the size. So we're gonna just keep it to, in the past it's been 780 pixels on the long side. We're gonna keep it to 1,000. Um, and then that'll just be like our baseline. So the height was the taller part. That's the long side. We'll keep it to a thousand. Apply it. All right. And file. And we're going to save it. Okay. On Photopea, it's you have to export it. But on um, Pixlr, it's you save it. And we're saving as a JPEG. And we're going to push it up to the highest um quality. <laughs> so all the way to 100%. We want our pictures to be really good. And then this over here tells us our file size. So you guys have to keep your files to three megabyte maximum. We're not even at one megabyte. So we're good. Okay. Um, save as and always, always, always label it. Hair pulling painting. All right. And make sure you save it in a spot that you'll remember that it's there, okay? Um, sometimes just going right onto the desktop is fine. Um, apparently on Pixlr, you have three daily saves for free. So um, you might need to do this over multiple days. But that's pretty much it, you guys. And look, there it is. And that's a good picture. Good, all right. 
that's it good luck